It is November 2005. I am at home in Zimbabwe for only three weeks after being deported from Lindela, the repatriation center. I am recovering from a strange flu that I contracted there. Money is out of my pocket and my wife is suffering the drought and food shortage. I don't have an option other than going down to South Africa again. I'm wearing long trousers, a t-shirt, a shirt and a jacket. I have an awake magazine in my hand. My friend Moses has offered me 300,000 Zimbabwean dollars to get to the border post. I am with four other guys now, traveling on foot across the border, not through the normal entrance of course. Our company is important for the night journey of more than 40 kilometers through thorn tickets, game wires, and over mountains. The next morning, I say farewell to my colleagues and find a place to hide in the neighboring farm range. Wandering for three days without food, I arrive finally at a mango plot. I am harvesting mangoes for 10 rains a day. Accommodation and food are major problems, and getting employment has been very difficult. Farmers are required by law to hire people with the South African ID books. A few weeks have gone by. I found a job as a farm security guard. My workmate Jonas is the only other Zimbabwean. We are desperately looking for girlfriends to provide shelter, love and belonging. We are having unprotected sex and contract STIs for the first time in our lives. Going for treatment is a challenge because we do not know the local language and we are afraid of being deported once again. Ten months later, and it is November 2006. So much in the air, I feel lucky. I have brought my wife from Zimbabwe, and my working conditions have improved greatly. My friend has not been so lucky. He tested HIV positive. I think often about the difficult times and the bad treatment we faced. I think of the 100 other Zimbabweans who are taken to Lendela every day to wait for deportation. They face starvation, dangerous animals, the Limpopo River floods, thugs, cruel farmers, and diseases, all in an attempt to make a living on the other side.